In this video, we will demonstrate the use of the NEOS closed tray impression technique. In the closed tray technique, the impression coping remains in the patient's mouth when the impression is removed. The NEOS closed tray impression coping is available in three different lengths and is packaged in a kit consisting of the coping, screw, a plastic extension sleeve, a red cap and replica. A unique feature of all NEOS impression copings is that they are self-seating. This means that the screw will not engage the implant if the coping is not correctly seated. However, a radiograph is recommended if there is any uncertainty or risk of soft tissue entrapment. First, the plastic extension sleeve on the impression coping screw was removed. The implant connection is exposed and we make sure that the top of the implant is clear of any soft or hard tissue. Place the desired length impression coping onto the implant and tighten the screw with the screwdriver and manual handle. The upper part of the impression coping has a direction indicator located between the two flat surfaces that will enable the red cap to orientate buccolingually. The red plastic cap is then gently pushed and rotated to engage the flat sides of the impression coping and correctly seat it. We recommend using a medium to heavy body impression material, inject around the impression coping and fill the impression tray. When the impression material has set, remove the impression. The red plastic impression cap is picked up in the impression. Using the screwdriver, unscrew and remove the implant level impression coping from the patient. We now screw the implant replica onto the impression coping and utilising the two flat surfaces, we reposition the impression coping into the correct position within the red plastic cap.